Hi, it's Anne here, and today's video is all about my fragrance collection. And today's video is specifically brought to you by Dossier. <laughs> Sorry, covered it up there. Um, so, Dossier, I'll, I'll explain what they are in a little minute if you haven't heard about them, but they, they inspired this video. Um, they reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to try their product. I kind of hummed and hawed for a little while. I personally am not a huge fragrance person, although I say that, and then I was gathering all the fragrances that I have, and I, I feel like I have a lot. <laughs> so, I mean, they've been accumulating over time, but I, I call myself not a fragrance person. I'm not really a fragrance person, and I'm not really a jewelry person. I feel like both items, at least from my perspective, have always been too expensive for what they are. <laughs> like, I just can't justify spending a lot of money on, like, flowery water or like a lot of money on like a piece of jewelry like it's so small but something like dossier is right up my alley so when they reached out to me I was like well, I'm not really sure I kind of went through their website read a bunch of stuff and then I was like you know what Th this is if I'm gonna do fragrance this is the way this is this is the way <laughs> if you know what I mean this is the way so in today's video, what I'll do is I'll talk a little bit about what Dossier is, I'll talk about the two fragrances that I received from Dossier, and then I'm, I just want to go through the rest of my collection uh, just to share what other fragrances I have, and you can get a, get a sense for what my style is if you want to, if you're considering purchasing the fragrances that I have. Um, <clears throat> I apologize if my voice is going in and out. I have been sick. I am still... <laughs> This is taking longer than I thought it would. Um, still not not better, but you know we're just we're rolling with it. We've got to I got to keep moving along. Uh, so what is Dossier? So they say our mission. Dossier was founded out of a desire to make premium fragrances accessible to everyone. As scent enthusiasts ourselves, it became impossible for us to turn a blind eye to the price markups traditionally seen in the industry, whether it be marking up scents because of celebrity endorsement fees or pricey packaging, we realized perfumes were being sold for way more than what they cost to make. It's time to say goodbye to feeling lost or left behind when it comes to experiencing premium fragrances and to welcome a new way to shop, your own. With Dossier, enjoying clean, ethically sourced, long-lasting, high-end perfume is with, within reach. For those who feel overlooked by the industry, who are tired of fragrances being an investment, or who are curious about stepping into... A new way of consuming perfumes. We can't wait to take this journey with you. Take the journey with you. So basically how it works. You can order up to five fragrances at a time. Shipping is always three if you, free if you buy three bottles or more. All orders are uh, risk-free, which I think is really cool, and you can return it if you don't like it. Um, they actually don't do samples anymore. It looks like they used to do little samples, but you can return a full-size bottle if you don't like it. Um, before making commitment, you have 30 days, I believe, to return it. Um, yeah, so return any bottle you choose not to keep within 30 days, no questions asked. And all accepted returns receive a full refund of the pur purchase price. Return shipping is included, and returns must be postmarked within 30 days of initial order. So I think that's pretty good. I think with most perfumes, you're going to know within maybe the first couple days if you want to keep it or not. Um, the two that I have received, I am definitely keeping. I like both of them. They're also committed to sustainability. I kind of noticed with the packaging, there's like no frills with the packaging, which I actually really appreciate, but it looks really good too. So both perfumes came in, like each perfume comes in its own individual box, and these two boxes were in a larger box. There was no like pe packing peanuts or anything like extra, like no extra papers, no extra fluff, which I appreciate that. I mean, it's such a small thing, but a lot of times when you get stuff that's packaged like with all like, I hate getting like the shredded paper. It's just unnecessary. So it's nice to know that they, they think about that. And they say their boxes are made of 100% recycled and recyclable uh, corrugated. So you can recycle the boxes after they've been recycled and then you can recycle them. It's a wheel of life, my friends. Um, all their bottles are made of glass, so nothing is plastic. And they say plastic free. We've stopped the production of our two milliliter samples to reduce our plastic use. So there you go, that's why they don't have the samples anymore. Um, the only exception is the pump. So I guess, yeah, the little, the piece within the pump would be the only piece of plastic that is part of the packaging. They say their formulas are clean, vegan, and cruelty-free, non-toxic, and environmentally, environmentally friendly. 
and they say if you if you do return them because I know a lot of people I, I don't return a lot of stuff because I know with a lot of things when you return it it just goes like in the junk pile so I don't I don't like returning things if I know it's gonna get wasted and they say second life instead of throwing away our return products we give them to a charity give back box the nonprofit organization shares the perfume with 60 plus charities all over the US so if you return something somebody else is gonna get to use that perfume um, my preference would be find somebody in your own personal life first if you can find something in your own life that wants perfume, then give it to them. Um, otherwise, you can return it. So, where do they ship? So, currently, they ship everywhere, continental U.S. and Canada. So, unfortunately, they don't ship to Hawaii or Alaska, and they don't ship um, overseas at all. So, fortunately, my friends in Europe, you can't get dossier. But I'm happy that they've included Canada, because <laughs> there's so many companies that are American that were like, we, we ship to the U.S., but we don't ship to Canada. It's like... But we're right there <laughs> we're right there they ship to us so yeah so they do ship to continental us and canada i guess there's probably some restrictions on shipping perfumes i know it's difficult to ship perfume and it's difficult to ship um nail polish because both are flammable from what i understand okay so the perfumes so the first one i'm going to talk about is this one so they all come in this nice little box with a nice little card like doesn't that look good like this definitely even though it's like no name brand like it's a I don't want to say knockoff but I guess that's the best word to describe it it looks really nice like I like the way they package it I like the no frills but it still looks classy um I love the glass bottle so this is what the bottles look like they're all the same obviously but the label would be different um so it's a nice really nice glass bottle really nice lid um magnetic Sorry, I'm out of focus, but let's do that again because it's so satisfying. It's magnetic. Just, yeah, it's a really, really nice looking bottle. I do really like it. Um, I need to put down, I don't know what the volume is of these. I'll put it on the screen because it doesn't say, I thought it would say it on the bottle. I think they're 50 mils. I think. I want to say 50 mils. It's not 30 mils. It's more than 30 mils. So, the first, uh, and Dossier let me pick the two perfumes that I wanted, um, that I thought that I would like. I had a hard time deciding. <laughs> I wanted more. <laughs> um, I wanted, like, a lot. Because um, the more I kept looking at the site, the more I was like, hmm, hmm. The interesting thing is, they base a lot of their fragrances, like, off other fragrances. So it's like, this one it smells like X. Or this one is a replica of X. And I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what those things smell like like I couldn't tell you what black opium smells like for example I couldn't tell you what good girl smells like I want to know what they smell like <laughs> so I was like I kind of want to order them because I liked the scent notes but I also am not 100% sure I like them I'm not a very flowery perfume person I think that's one of the reasons why I've stayed away from perfume I'm not a super musky or super flowery perfume kind of person although you'll see I'm okay with blends like things that have flowers in them but generally I'm not a straight up floral perfume person. So the first one that I picked was called Aquatic Vanilla and this one is inspired by Juliet Has a Gun Vanilla Vibes Eau de Parfum. Eau de Parfum. Eau de Parfum? Is that how you say that? Um, if you recall in November when I was in Disney I bought the vanilla uh, sampler kit from Sephora and the fragrance that I wanted to get out of that was this fragrance um, but it wasn't in store they didn't have like the it, you got a travel size vanilla spray out of that set you could pick a travel size vanilla spray and for whatever reason that wasn't in store so I ended up picking the Nest vanilla Mad Madagascar vanilla uh, vanilla oil so yeah, so this was definitely like top of the list of what I wanted to pick because I knew I really liked this and I, I was kind of like, I don't want to say regretting that I didn't pick it, but definitely feeling like I kind of wish I'd picked it. Uh, so the notes of this one are top notes say marine notes, red fruits, and rose. So again, flowery stuff sort of floats in there, but I wouldn't say it's the like a flowery fragrance. Uh, middle notes, vanilla, orchid, and coconut, and base notes are musks, sandalwood, and Benzoin, I think that's a resin from what I understand. Made myself a bunch of little cards so I could spray this. This is a type of video where I wish smell o vision occurred. This is like the only <laughs> scenario where smell o vision would be helpful. Um, I think in general, smell o vision would be a very bad idea. Yeah, this is just like a really nice, 
I don't know, it's like a sweet vanilla, but soft. This is like an everyday perfume. So I have been wearing this one. So I did receive these a little while ago, but with everything going on in my life, <laughs> this has not been a priority. Um, so I'm just kind of getting back into it now. But this one was the one, there's almost like a, I don't know, a sharp note in there. I don't know what that would be. I guess that marine note just gives it a bit of a punch, but not strong. Like this is an everyday, definitely an everyday fragrance. And it's not a super strong vanilla either. Like I feel like this, again, it's an everyday. It's a very well-balanced fragrance to me. And then the second one that I picked was called Powdery Coconut. So for me personally, the two scents or three, the three words that kind of pique my interest are vanilla, coconut, and almond. I would say those are the three like scents that I'm like, hmm, I probably will like that. Or I think I might like that. Um, this one I picked and you'll see why. Well, let me just say <laughs> why. So it was inspired by Tom Ford, Soleil Blanc Eau de Parfum. So Soleil Blanc, I talked about this last year. I had a small sample. I've talked about this on and off for the past year. I mentioned it a few times because it was a perfume that I thought I wanted to buy it is hella expensive and I just, even for like the rollerball, I think it's like 60 or $80. Like it's really expensive. And I just like, uh, and I had the sampler and I was like, I like it. But <laughs> I laugh because I said in the video, I think it might be a little too old for me. Guys, I'm 42. Sometimes I forget. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm middle-aged. How does that happen? It just, it creeps up on you. Uh, I have another fragrance that I'll talk about that kind of I feel like is in the same realm. They're not the same kind of fragrance, but in the same, I don't know, kind of like a mature type scent. And I think I said in the video though, I was like, if if somehow I came upon it, I might buy it. Like if I had a sample or something, it'd be fine. And then so when I saw that they had a fragrance that like matched it, I was like, okay, <laughs> this is a sign that I'm supposed to have this in my life. Like, let's just do this. Um, so the top notes of this are cardamom pistachio and bergamot. Bergamot's another scent that I know I like. Um, so, I, you know, it's one that I kind of look out for. Middle notes are ylang ylang, tuberose, and jasmine. I'm also wondering if jasmine is something I like because I think it comes up a few times in some of the scents that I like. Um, base notes are cedarwood, amber, benzoin, and coconut. So this one's definitely like a richer scent. Like it's more intense. Um, that bergamot is definitely coming through. Um, this again is like a, I think a summer evening. I think that's what my friend described it as. Like this is definitely like going out on a summer evening on a hot date. I should say I don't really do, but a girl can dream. <laughs> but yeah, it's definitely more of like, it's a summer fragrance, but it's a, it's a richer summer fragrance. Definitely maybe not an everyday for me, but more like a, a I'm feeling fancy. So I want to wear something, something a little more richer and intense. So yeah, these are the two fragrances that I received. Again, like, don't they look lovely? Don't they look lovely? I think they look beautiful in terms of the packaging. Like, I, I think these are really, really nice to sit out. They don't look, it made me think about, so the concept of this makes me think about, I guess these still exist, but it reminds me of back in the day in the 90s when I used to buy, not necessarily for myself, but my one brother liked cologne. There was like a lot of knockoff type colognes at the drugstore and it would be like kind of similar packaging but maybe like plasticky kind of smelled a little like alcoholy like but still kind of smell like the thing this is like such a far cry from that i was kind of worried that that's what this was going to be like like it would feel cheap um it would feel like uh you know no regrets like the wrong just a little off not quite right but honestly, like these stand on their own. Like I think these are quite lovely. Um, I don't see any reason to buy the fancy perfumes, the more expensive ones, if, if you can buy these. Because again, nobody is gonna see the bottles, first of all, but even if they do see the bottles, like I would be happy to show these. Like that's the thing I think about. So like I'll put these on my shelf and if someone comes over and it's like, oh, what are those? I, I would be happy to like tell them, hey, this is Dossier, guess what? You can get perfumes that are way cheaper, <laughs> but smell like, you know, more expensive ones. They also do have, I'll make a mention, they do have some of their own signature scents. I was considering maybe getting one of those and then I changed my mind because I wanted to see 
again, the quality of these, like do these smell and like give the effect of like the real deal? And I, I totally think they do. Um, I am very pleased with these, very happy with the quality with them. I will be a future customer. <laughs> um, probably not in the near, near future. Again, I'm on a no buy right now, so I'm not gonna buy any in the near future. And I kind of feel like I have a lot going on right now, now that I've collected all my fragrances together. Um, but I definitely can see myself picking up a couple, maybe two or three more of these for sure in the future. Okay, so now I want to go through the rest of my fragrances just to kind of chit chat about what I currently have. Again, to kind of give you a sense of what my preferences are, maybe to see if those two that I just mentioned are something that you would like. So everything's in a box. <laughs> um, it all fits in a box. Majority of this is Bath and Body Works fragrances because again, I don't want to spend too much money on a fragrance, so I get the Bath and Body Works ones, and I typically buy them when it's like on sale. Actually, it's always on sale, I think, when I buy them. So let's first talk about actual like real perfumes that I have. So first up is Elizabeth Arden's Sunflower, <laughs> and I'm laughing because if I want to talk about old lady, doesn't this seem like such an old lady perfume? I bought this November 2018, so this is one of, again, it's newer, this is like mid-range. I have some that are older than this um, and a lot more that are newer than this. Um, I picked this up because this is supposed to be a dupe for Escape from Calvin Klein. <sighs> My fra favorite fragrances always seem to get discontinued. I loved that fragrance, doesn't exist anymore. I don't know if this is a dupe. I feel like Escape has sort of like a sweet tea kind of smell. Um, this one smells nice. I don't know if it's a dupe or not because it's been so long since I smelled Escape, but I'm assuming it is. So let's give this a little spray. This is definitely more of like a, this is like a, a perfume. Like when I think perfume, this is perfume. The top notes are bergamot, melon, peach, and osmanthus. Middle notes are jasmine, cyclamen, and base notes are sandalwood and moss. Um, it definitely has like a sweet, a slight sweet tea type smell. Um, yeah, so I quite enjoy that, but you can see that I don't use it very often because it's definitely like, I need to be in the mood to wear that. Like I need to be like, a, I wanna wear a real perfume. Perfume. The next one I wanna talk about this one. This one is packaged. Let's just turn it around so it's really, really pretty. Oh, there we are. This one is like the nicest packaged perfume I have. I think it's maybe a little dusty too. too. This is the Marc Jacobs Daisy Love Oh So Sweet. This came to me from Top Box and it was an add-on. It was a $10 add-on. I spent $10 for this. Best price ever. <laughs> um, this is when Topbox had like, they were really, really good. There was like a phase there of like nine months where they had some really good, like especially add-ons. And this is probably the best add-on they had. Again, not a fragrance that I would have normally picked for myself. Um, and definitely like a perfume. This one does fall into the slightly floral, but it's not floral floral. So the top notes are white raspberries, the middle note is daisy tree petals, and the base note is sugar musk. So again, there's like a little bit of floral in there, but I wouldn't describe it as a floral perfume. Even though I'm not a big floral person, I do feel like I like the Marc Jacobs perfumes. Like I've smelled a lot of their like perfumes in store, and I like a lot of them. Some of them, like, again, are kind of floral, so they're not me, but I think they're nice, nice, nice perfumes. Yeah, so this is just like a sweet, you know, if I get the raspberry, I always feel like this is a sweet powder. That's what it reminds me of. Like, it's a, a powdery sweet. Definitely a spring fragrance for me. And then the last full-size fragrance I have that's like a real fragrance is this guy. So this is DKNY Be Delicious. Story time about this. Um... I bought this in 2005 when I went to New York with my mom. Um, so this one has special meaning to me. I don't use this anymore. Um, I also found out when I was looking it up online that this launched in 20, uh, 2004. So when I bought it, it was like a hot, it was a new. I was like on the cusp of new stuff, which I never am. So we're going to spray this though, because I haven't sprayed it in a really long time and I'm curious to know what it smells like. Oh yeah. So top notes are cucumber, grapefruit, and magnolia. Middle note is green apple, lily of the valley, tuberose, uh, sorry, lily of the valley, tuberose, violet, and rose. And base notes are woodsy notes, sandalwood, and amber. And definitely that cucumber, like that, if you liked cucumber melon from Bath and Body Works, you would really like this. Um, 
but this has been discontinued. It doesn't exist anymore, which makes me very sad. Um, again, almost has like a bit of a tea smell to it, but that, that cucumber is definitely a strong, and that a bit of green apple, like the crispness. Bam, yeah, that's a really nice, fresh, fresh fragrance. Oh, I missed that. That just like brought, that brought like a huge flood of memories, like a huge flood of nostalgia and a huge flood of feeling for like the early 2000s for me, like in the good stuff. Huh. Anyway, so those are my like full size fragrances. I then have four, four roller balls. So I typically go for roller balls because I just like, again, I'm not a big fragrance person. It takes me a long time to go through a fragrance. Um, so that's something I really do wish that Dossier would consider doing like small sprayers or small, I don't even mind roller balls. Like I know a lot of people, there's a lot of, I, I would prefer a small sprayer over a roller ball. I think all of mine are roller balls. I think we'll find out. Um, but I'll take a roller ball if I can. Cause yeah, I wish they did have smaller sizes. That's the only, the only downside of Dossier is they don't have smaller sizes. So the first one is this uh, vanilla bean, uh, sorry, Ness Madagascar Vanilla. So this is the one that I picked from that kit. And the notes are vanilla bean, vanilla orchid, and coconut. I just realized I won't be able to spray these on the cards. So I'm gonna, we're gonna do this. Roller it on the card. And yeah, this one's like a really straight up vanilla. It's a pretty strong vanilla. Like a sweet vanilla though. It's not, but not super sweet. How do I describe that? It's definitely like a like a fairly true straight vanilla scent. I like to layer this. So I've learned that I like wearing this with other perfumes, not necessarily just on its own. I feel like on its own, it's actually kind of boring, <laughs> which I thought I was a boring person. Apparently I'm not. Apparently I want more for my fragrance than what this, this provides. Um, it gets nice on its own, but I feel like it's a good layering type perfume. Next up is Marc Jacobs Decadence. So this is one that you know, sort of catches me by surprise. And this is one that I would say is in the same realm as the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. Definitely a more richer type fragrance, a more nighttime fragrance. I prefer to wear this in the winter time. If I feel like this is like, I wanna be cozy, but like I'm going out for like a nice dinner or drinks with friends. That's generally when I wear this. Um, it has also been discontinued, which makes me so sad. Hmm, it's interesting. I'm kind of noticing that this definitely has a fruity-ish type scent. So the top notes are plum, saffron, and iris. Middle notes are orris, Bulgarian rose, and jasmine sandback. Base notes are veveter, paprius, and li liquid amber. Yeah, it's definitely like slightly fruity, but definitely richer. Um, this one's an, a, like, I feel like this is a complex scent to me. This is one of those ones that's like really hard to pinpoint but definitely like it has depth to it. You know what I mean? The next one I want to talk about is the Seven Virtues Vanilla Woods perfume. My voice is better. <laughs> Gave it a good clearing out. Hopefully it stays that way. This is one that I bought and then I regretted it and now I like it. This has been a full circle one for me. When I bought this, I was hoping this was going to be more like the Nest one, like more of a straight up pure vanilla. And it's not, like not at all. <laughs> um, it's got almost... It's funny because it doesn't say that it has lavender in it, but I would almost say it has some sort of like calming type smell in it. And when I kind of realized that, I was like, okay, this kind of smells sort of calm and relaxing to me. I wear this at night. And so now I associate this with like calming down, with relaxing, unminding. I generally, if I have like a bath or a shower at night, I will put this on before I go to bed. And now it's become this sort of association of like calm, soothing, I don't know, hard to describe, but that's what I, I think of. So the top note is pear, which I would have never have guessed. Again, I feel like there's almost like a powdery, I don't know, floral scent in there. But the heart note is rose, but I would have never said it was rose. It's definitely not lavender, but you know what I mean? Like that powdery type feeling. The base notes are vanilla, amber, caramel, and benzoin. I would say those base notes are very strong. Like the vanilla, the, the caramel definitely um, is in there. Yeah, it's just, it's definitely not what I thought it was, um, but I like it. I definitely think, I don't think they had any perfumes on Dossier that was like that one. I'll have to double check. Um, 
But that's one that I want to buy. So I'm getting kind of close to finishing this one actually, which is surprising. It takes me a really long time to finish a perfume. Um, I would definitely consider buying that in a larger size because uh, I quite like it. And then the last roller ball, you can see I've actually used quite a bit of this one. I've had this one for quite some time. This one is Replica Beach Walk. I really enjoy this in the summer. This is a summer fragrance for me. For me. Again, a summer fragrance for when I want to wear like fragrance, when I actually want to wear a perfume perfume. Um, I keep wanting to buy, there's like a replica kit with like eight, I think, minis, but it's like $40 and I'm like, do I really want to pay for minis or do I wait until I get samples? <laughs> But then the ones that I want to try, I never see samples for. So, I don't know. I've been, it's been in my, like, loves list to buy, and I just haven't bought it. Um, and then it was, it was uh, not available, I think, when 20% was on in December. Anyway, yeah, I really enjoy this one. Again, top note, bergamot. Bergamot's probably one of my favorite scents. It's like a citrusy type scent. Uh, pink pepper, lemon. You definitely get the lemon on this one. Middle notes are ylang ylang, translucent, Heliotrope Accord, Coconut Milk Accord, base notes are Cedarwood, White Musks, and Benzoin Resinoid. So that's that resin smell. Um, the Replica website's very, um, I don't want to say hoity-toity, <laughs> but they, they really get intense with their descriptions of stuff. Kind of definitely like above my head. <laughs> uh, I just really enjoy this fragrance, and I enjoy, like I've smelled other ones from Replica, and I really like them. Um, yeah, to me this is just a nice fresh, fresh, breezy summer scent. I really, really enjoy that one. So the remaining scents I'm going to talk about are my Bath & Body Works fragrances. I've talked about all of these at some point in another video, so I don't want to spend too long talking about these. Um, I don't even think I'm going to, I don't even think I'm going to spray them. I think I'm just going to mention which ones that I have. Um, so I have three full-size ones. The first one is Beach Nights. I love the packaging on this one. I think it's really nice. This one is Toasted Marshmallow, Seesaw Breeze, S'mores Accord, uh, Beach Driftwood, and Creamy Vanilla. So really enjoy this. Even like, <clears throat> I will wear this like all year round. Even though it's supposed to be like more of a summer scent, I will wear it all year round. The thing that I will note about the Bath & Body Works Fragrance Mists is they are definitely, um, alcoholy like they have that alcohol smell that like that cheap like it dries down but there's definitely that like I don't, I don't know if it's alcohol I don't know what it is but you know what I mean that just like I mean it's just a fragrance mist it's not fragrance mist it's not a perfume in any sense and it's not marketed as a perfume um so the other one I have is dream bright so this is sapphire berries night blooming orchid and crystallized vanilla again really love the packaging on this I think this is just really smart Really, really pretty looking. Again, that's kind of like I need to be in the mood to wear it. This is one I didn't pick out myself. This came in like a Mother's Day kit. And this was, is gingham, which is like one of their standard scents. And gingham is described as blue freesia, white peach, fresh clementine, violet, and clean musk. Actually, I'm going to spray this one because I don't remember, I don't remember what this one smells like. I did have this in a project at one point. You can see my little lines. Let's get my little card. I made little cards for all of them. <laughs> so I don't really remember. I haven't used this one in a while. It's a bit flowery. Definitely peach though, that peach comes through. Definitely a spring scent for me. And then the rest I have are minis. So I have three older minis. So the first one is In the Stars. So this is, this is quite old. Um, they don't package them in this packaging anymore. They have the hand sanitizers in this kind of packaging. Um, but you can see, I think you can see, like, this is all the way down there. So I've almost done this one. This is not a huge favorite of mine. I don't know if I'd repurchase this one again. The scent notes are Starflower, Sandalwood Musk, Sugar, Tangelo, White Arganwood, and, sorry, I can't see, it's cut off. Radiant Amber. So, like, it's, it's kind of an okay one for me, but it's definitely more of, like, on the perfumey side than what I prefer. The other one I have is Fiji Sunshine Guava Teeny. This one is Sunkissed Guava, Fresh Orange, and Seaside Jasmine. This one is like, it's right about here. So definitely one that I've used a little bit more um, than some of my other ones. And then the last one I have in this packaging is Key West. So this is the um, Coconut Water salt water waves, uh, coconut and melon. So coconut water, salt water waves, and fresh melon. This is definitely like if you like cucumber melon, 
This is very similar to cucumber melon with that coconut thrown in. I say cu cucumber melon even though it's not cucumber at all. It definitely has the same kind of vibes. But yeah, I definitely get that melon, coconut water. Like it's not cucumber. I always I keep saying cucumber when I say this one, but it's got the same vibes as cucumber melon. Maybe a bit sweeter. And then I have four, four in this kind of packaging. So I pulled this one out. This is my newest one. This is one that I bought the most recently. And I was like, I kind of have to have this um, when I saw it. Cause I, I think this to me is like my signature Bath and Body Works scent. I, I, I want everything in this scent. I think I have almost everything in this scent. Um, it's warm vanilla sugar, which they describe as intoxicating vanilla, white orchid, sparkling sugar, fresh jasmine, and creamy sandalwood. So again, it's this is a very, as the name describes, warm vanilla, sweet warm vanilla. So if you want something that's a bit more gourmand, then I would say like the Nest Madagascar one is not gourmand. It's just like vanilla. Uh, whereas this is definitely more of a gourmand vanilla. The next one is Fresh Getaway. Um, I bought this as like an everyday fragrance. This is one that I feel like comfortable that I'd be okay wearing to the office. Um, we're not supposed to wear fragrances in the office, so I feel like this one is like acceptable. <laughs> um, it is bright yuzu citrus, which again is that citrus like bergamot and then fresh ocean air. The next one is this one, which I haven't used a whole lot. This one, I think the name, it says love always wins, but I think the, the scent name is rainbow waves. This was their, obviously their pride. Um, they had a whole line for this. They had like a candle and everything too. I really wanted to buy the candle because it was so pretty with the rainbow, but I didn't want to pay full price for it and I never saw it like on sale, so I didn't buy it. Um, but the scent notes of this one are sunny sangria, bright melon, and misty waters. So again, the melon, the fresh, um, definitely a summer fragrance for me. And then the last one, speaking of summer fragrance, is summer melody. So this one is like half full, uh, maybe a little bit more than that, maybe two thirds full. Um, so that's what the packaging looks like for summer melody. I love this fragrance. I actually kind of overdid it and made myself sick of it. <laughs> so I had to put it away because I'm like, you know what? I need to put it away so that I can use it next summer and then feel like mm, fresh again. Um, the scent notes of this one are golden honeydew and bronze vanilla. So again, there's that vanilla. Um, so I think that kind of gives you an idea of the fragrances that I like and the things that I like. Again, the Bath and Body Works stuff is definitely more like a fragrance mist. There's definitely that almost alcohol. They're not very strong. They don't last very long. Um, I do feel like the Dossier perfumes, they're, they're a true perfume. They're like um, the Marc Jacobs that I have. I, I feel like they're just on par with the Marc Jacobs and the um, other perfumes that I have that are their proper perfumes. So I feel like I've been talking a long time. I hope, I hope this gives you a sense of the fragrances that I like. I don't see myself buying a whole lot of fragrances going forward. Um, like I said, I can see myself maybe buying two or three more from Dossier. I can think of maybe a couple of roller balls that I would like that don't parallel any fragrances that I know that they have on their website. Um, but I'm pretty happy with what I have right now. I feel like I need to finish a few things that I have right now before I buy anything else. And again, just to kind of wrap up, if, if you're like me and not a big fragrance person but kind of want to get into fragrances but don't want to spend the money to get into fragrances, this is a great avenue. And, and I feel like it's trustworthy. Like when I see some like the sort of knockoffy stuff at like drugstore and other I'm just like mm, even though it's cheap I don't know if I really want to buy it and it doesn't smell good <laughs> um, this is like a no fail way if you don't like it you can send it back um, but I feel like again my recommendation would be go into Sephora smell a few perfumes you think you like write them down and then go on the dossier website and pick out some of the fragrances there and, and like they have one that's so like one I want to mention is I have a sample of the Killian, I think it's Killian Don't Be Shy, something like that. Um, just a little like that I have in my bathroom right now that I've been testing out. And I like it. It's okay. It's definitely not a me fragrance. Um, I don't think I like it enough. I would like it enough to get a rollerball, not enough to get a size this big. Um, they have a perfume that's like it though. They have a, a match. And it's obviously way cheaper because that perfume, I'll put the price up so you can see the difference. Like to me, it's a no brainer. Um, Cause yeah, I can't, uh, I just can't spend that kind of money on a perfume. 
And now it's like, oh, yay, there's a solution. There's something else where you get the same kind of quality, but way better price. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. If you did, feel free to give a little thumbs up down below. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel here in Toronto, Canada. I hope you're doing well, and I'll see you sometime soon. Bye.